back to this week on TMB News. I'm Sunaida. Tonight we bring you a comprehensive overview of the latest happenings from across the nation with a special focus on the dynamic state of Manipur. Our commitment is to provide you with a measured and professional perspective of the national and regional news, setting lights on both noteworthy achievements and critical challenges. And I'm Motria. In this edition, we aim to deliver a balanced and insightful analysis of the unfolding developments. From commentable milestones to present issues, we strive to offer you a thorough understanding of the news that matters at both the national, regional, and international levels. Thank you for joining us for this informed and detailed coverage. President Drupati Murmu approved 277 gallantry awards on India's 75th Republic Day. Honoring 1,132 personnel, notable mentions include 119 awards for those in left-wing extremist affected area and two President Medals for Gallantry to BSF personnel for peacemaking. Jammu and Kashmir police led with 72 awardees, recent restructuring consolidated 16 medals into four categories. ACP Lalit Mohant and ACP Hardy Bushant from Delhi Police Special Cell received the prestigious Presence Medal for their role in dismantling major terrorist models. Assam Chief Minister Himanta Biswa Sharma accused Rahul Gandhi of using Nasalik tactics during protests in Guwahati related to Rahul's Bharat Joronayat Yatra. Sharma instructed the DGP to file a case against Gandhi, whose entry was halted leading to protests. Sharma condemned Gandhi's action, alleging a violation of guidelines and causing a massive traffic jam. The clash intensified, with Sharma calling Gandhi's Ravant and Rahul labeling Sharma the most corrupted chief minister. The political rivalry continued to escalate, drawing attention to Asham's dynamic political landscape. The three-day state-level panchayat Saminlang in Ganta concluded successful, with Chief Minister Prem Singh Taman announcing key enhancements, including increased grants and double honorism for panchayat members. The event brought together Zila Panchayat, Gram Panchayat and Urban Local Bodies, highlighting positive changes from party-less panchayat elections. The Chief Minister was facilitated and cheque was distributed for schemes like Pradhan Mantri Awas Yojana and House Upgradations. The creation of a separate Directorate of Municipal Administrations was also announced. On January 23, 2024, Mizoram Langbui Airport was closed after a Myanmar Army aircraft crashed during landing, leading to a cancellation of at least five flights. The incidents, which occurred as the aircraft attempted to retrieve Myanmar Army personnel, resulted in eight injuries among the foreign individuals on board. The Director General of Civil Aviation ordered an investigation. Lingui Airport closure disrupted travel plans, impacting flights and underscored the importance of safety measures at these critical transportation in Mizoram. General enrollment ratio increased from 23.7 in 2014 and 15 to 28.4 in 2021 and 22, with female gross enrollment ratio raising from 22.9 to 28.5. Undergraduate course had 78.9% of total students, with art leadings at 34.2%, while social science dominated postgraduate courses at 21.1%. PhD course enrollment increased by 81.2 percent, reaching 2.12 lakhs in 2021 and 22. India secured a spot in the International Hockey Federation Hockey's Women World Cup final with dominated 6 by 3 victory over South Africa. Participants showcased exceptional skills in the thrilling semi finals. The final showdown against Netherlands in Moscow, Oman, is eagerly anticipated, scheduled to commence at 9.50 p.m. in the Standard Time. Hockey interested worldwide are looking forward to this intense battle for the coveted title. Janata Dal United Supremo Nitish Kumar is set to take out as Bihar Chief Minister for the ninth time, forming an alliance with BJP. 
The state level panchayat Saminlang concluded with Chief Minister Prem Singh Taman announcing key enhancement. Nitish's resignation and alliance with BJP will be his second political voted faces. BJP MLAs and MPs discuss the developments and a new government is expected to have Nitish Kumar as Chief Minister. Two deputy chief ministers from BJP and key roles for Renu Devi and others. The move impact opposition unity in the upcoming elections, with Congress failure to name Nitish as India's bloc governor causing a rift in the alliance. Manipur celebrated its 75th Republic Day at Kangla Fort in Imphal, where Governor Anushya Uike unfurled the national flag and received salutes from Maspat's contingents. Chief Minister N. Biran Singh and dignitaries participated. The event included a parade with cultural troops, mounted police, and tableaus. Medals were awarded to Manipur Police Department personnel. Chief Minister N. Biran Singh expressed concern about the current incidents, emphasized unity, and called for collective efforts to ensure the safety and well being of the people in Manipur. Fresh violence in Manipur, which resulted in five deaths, including two policemen, prompted the Ministry of Home Affairs to deploy a special team of three senior intelligence bureau officers. The move came amid tensions in Moray and dissatisfaction among Valley District MLAs. A resolution by 35 out of 39 MLAs in the Valley threatened appropriate action if demands, including the suspension of operation agreement and disarmament, were not made by central government. The MLAs expressed concern over alleged armed attacks and called accountability of the Assam Rifles with the resolution seen as act of rebellion by the state. Arambai Tengol held a crucial meeting with Valley District MLAs and MPs inside Kangla Fort amid heavy security deployment. The meeting resolved that 37 MLAs and two MPs from the Maiti community would convey people's concern to the center and press for demands, including abrogating the Sioux Agreement with Cookie militants. The MLAs and MP took an oath to address these issues within 15 days. The meeting discussed various demands, including conducting an NRC exercise, deporting detected foreigners, border fencing, and addressing the withdrawal of Assam Rifle units. Dan Chin Kuki Mizo Zomi Mar MLAs from Manipur wrote to Union Minister Amit Saha, urging the reimposition of the Armed Forces Special Power Act in the Valley. They expressed concern over a resolution adopted by the 12th Manipur Legislative Assembly, deeming it a partisan decision that undermined ongoing political discourse. The MLS highlighted the continued presence of Maitai personnel in state commando forces in Moray and suggested withdrawal to restore peace. They also called for the reintroduction of Afaswa in the Manipur Valley, granting full power to the Assam Rifles and the Indian Army to recover looted arms from the state police and IRB. Renowned potter Machian Sasa from Dungbi, Dongpi village in Manipur's Okrul district was the sole recipient of the Padma Sri Award for 2024. Born on 10 April 1950, Machian dedicated his life to preserving and promoting the ancient art of Dongpi black pottery. Since 1970, he actively crafted unique black stone pottery using a combination of black ground serpentine stone and special brown clay found exclusively in Dongpi. Machihan's innovative approach to black stone poetry, known for its rustic appeal and cooking versatility, contributed significantly to Manipur's cultural heritage. Lintoy Chanambam, a talented judo player from Manipur, was selected for the prestigious Pradhan Mantri Rashtriya Bal Puruskar for 2024. Lintoy made history by winning a gold medal at World Cadet Judo Championship in Sarasivo in August 2022, becoming the first Indian to claim a medal in the tournament across all age groups. The awards ceremony was scheduled for January 2022, where President Draupadi Murmu presented the awards, and the Prime Minister Narendra Modi interacted with the awardees on January 23. Lintoy was among the 19 outstanding children selected nationwide for the award in the sports category. Manipur University's Vice Chancellor Professor N. Lokendra Singh revealed the result of the pilot project on documentation and rehabilitation of internally displaced people in Manipur. Launched in July 2023 by the Department of Mass Communication, the initiative captured the stories of 76 displaced individuals and involved students in creating documentaries. The project, deemed historically significant, also provided smartphones to relief camp inmates for self-documentation. 
Professor Lokendra Singh highlighted its importance, and other university officials emphasized its role as an archive and education resource for future generations. So casting the university's commitment to understanding the crisis impact on the displaced population. Two houses were tragically gutted in the massive fire in Ukrul district, Manipur, on Sunday evening. The fire caused by a short circuit in the kitchen of a resident quickly spread, resulting in the complete destruction of his house and a newly constructed one. Despite the quick intervention of villagers, the houses, along with valuable belongings, returned to ashes. The fire filed at Somdal police station indicated a significant fluctuation in electric current just before the fire leading to the devastating incident. The final rights of the four individuals killed by Koki militants on January 18 were held at Nintokong Kakuno, Ward No. 4 on Tuesday. The deceased were found near the farm after gunshots were heard. After post-mortem at Rim's mortuary, the buried attracted thousands of mourners with youth affairs and sport minister Kwantongzam Govindas present. Chief Minister Anne Biran Singh had visited the families earlier, pleasing to apprehend the perpetrators according to the law. Thank you for tuning in tonight to This Week on TMB News. Stay informed and we'll be back with more insights into the nation's stories. Have a great day. Thank <laughs> you.